my name is Kylie and today I want bangs. And uh, Bob, yes. not too short, but a playful Bob. Yes. Will you turn around? And under your name they can find a lot of videos. And the color will be? Uh, black. Yeah, blue is black, what was it? <laughs> okay, let's start with you. Hello friends on YouTube, back. I'm going to create this young lady a nice Bob. And of course, a, not a nice, fresh, new color. It's winter time, so going to the dark time of the year. So it's going to be black. Start, of course, with putting on the protection for cutting. And use always the neck paper. Then I'll start wetting the hair and see what's going on beneath it. Oh yeah. Hm. Denk jij ook niet lekker bij ook in Ja, het groeit eigenlijk best wel snel. Ja. Ja, je haar goed altijd wel uit. Now the hair is a bit dry, so what I'm going to do in front of everything I'm going to do is put a little bit uh, step one into the hairs, so it nurses the hairs while I'm cutting it. And then I put also the step one into the coloring so I get a better hold on the hairs. Step one is product of Glint and I show you that in the back of the video with all the uh, products I used on my hair. And they have also a product to stay working at home on the same condition. And when somebody buys that in the salon, you do this treatment for nothing. So it gives always the best result. But good hair is always the best. Uh, commercial for your salad. Brushes through this. Now she wants a playful bob, so I'm gonna work with uh, the hot knife. This tool of ego. And I want to thank everybody on YouTube for the support on my last video that goes viral. It's a video of Anne. Gives me a lot of work on the comments. Start by splitting the hair apart and then in the neckline. Part of the skull bone. She has still a side shave. Don't see it anymore because it's growing back. On the front, what the length is. So I can really make a nice pop on her. So turn around, starting in the center line. You can see also the natural fall of her hair. Now she wants a playful bob, so I stay a little bit under the baseline of her hair. So I can give that playful effect. Go in with just the tip of my knife. Give it that playful effect. That don't create a hard line. This tool is of Ergo and it's 190 degrees Celsius. And it seals the hair some water for months. So I'm not going to create a hard line on her. The last time she had a hard line and very nice red hair. But that you have to find on her name on my channel. It's the first baseline of my bob. So you can see it's playful, it's not a stiff line. So this I'm going to use in the top also. Part about two centimeters here, in the same line, wetting in between. Take the hairs on the line of cutting, go in with my tip. Now holding a bit length, so go in the underline. I'm 
once again it only has to be a stiff line so maybe jolly lift of the skull bone Late in the natural roundings. I always use the natural roundings. I really love it. I think uh, doing hair is shaping hair, not cutting hair. So I think when you have a base shape, uh, like the skull, and the shapes of the skull, you have to use them because the skull is the most wonderful thing a model has, of course. But that's what you have to deal with. It brings everything what you can do on the hairs. It's like sculpting clay. Watch through the hairs to the baseline. So my focus is also in the same line as the skull lines are. So when I watch through the hairs, I see the skull bone laying and I watch take the hairs up and I watch in the same line as the skull bone line. Coming on the center of the skull, on top. Once again, lay the hairs nicely over the roundings of the skull. Go in with the tip of my knife. What I did with step one is bring base elements into the hairs. It's a bit like a plaque system, only this of glint doesn't bring the hardness of the plaques. So it has less proteins and keratins, so you get nicer and more uh, moisty hair. Moist is the most important thing in hair. It holds everything together and young. Coming to the sides, now I see here's the rest over of an uh, undershave, <laughs> holding my knife flat, just take it softly over it because dry ends stick out, so I take only dry parts off, it's only not, almost nothing, take the front to the back, connect them. Lay the right side over the longer lines, so I can get more in line with the hairstyle I'm going to work in. <laughs> That's the dry part of the hairs. So once again, pull it from the top to the center line. Watch and cut only with the tip of my knife. Don't make a hard line. Then I'm softly working to the front. Als er een trein voorbij kwam. Ja. Die zie je altijd zo rustig. 
Zeker als je weet dat ik aan het filmen ben. Dan hou je er echt wel rekening mee. So this is the right side of her beautiful head. So now I go to the left side. Left side. Of course here is also a part that's been shaved before. It's so always undercut. Crack the neckline a little bit. This we are growing back, so I gently go over only the dry ends. So hardly take anything off. I just want to seal them because the last time was clip cut. Then I go back to the hairs. Like I did on the other side. Take the hairs to the back. Lift them over the roundings. Start in the center line and work my way to the front. Ja, ze heeft toch wel haar zat. Ja. Het dadelijk zwart is dus helemaal mooi. Dat is echt wel een heel stoer kopje krijg ze dan. Coming on the center of the hairs. From the center. Lift the hairs up. Don't need the underlines. Watch if I get into the frame. Go out of the frame. And with my thumb, I take off only a small part of the center line. This you do only when you have moist hair, otherwise you burn your, your thumb, of course. Oh, I smell man. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, take only the top and chop. Cross control, lay the hairs to the other side, only with the tip. Connect both sides to each other, only on the center line. Take the hairs to the front. I have to have an arrow shape, because then I know that both sides are the same length. But I also want to be sure I did all the hairs. So take the hairs to the front, lay them on the line of cutting. Take off only the dry ends. It's a fridge. <laughs> she told me that on front, but I've got it. So I go for the fringe. Not take much because then I lose my bob. So I got to find the balance between it. But also, also the fringe I do with the hot tool because it never irritates the skin in the face lines. And when you lay it to the back, you hardly see it. So I take also a small part of the hairs. So I'm certain that I have more length to the sides. Pin that away. Go in the facial lines, so I make a curve. Take the head to the front, 
twist them. Keep them on here. Twist them. Go in with my knife. And using once again only the tip of my knife. And gently work down. Because I twist the hairs in the center line, the sides certainly longer. And I get a nice playful fringe. Watch it the natural fall. It's wonderful. <laughs> Near Gaga, waterfall. <laughs> Make it that it can go both ways. And that is a soft line. So this is a fringe. So now I take this out. Still have hair enough. Although she also has side shapes. So now I can make her cover. Uh, een pony. Ik ben niet zo lijks op een hoek. Nou, dat maar kijk, het mooie is, zie, als je, kijk als je de pony snijdt, zie, je kunt hem helemaal niet zien liggen als je hem uh, nee. inkant. Dat is het voordeel, je kunt hem gewoon helemaal wegzetten. Met een klein beetje. Ja, hoeft niet eens. Een klein nee, dat hoeft niet eens. Je kunt eventueel gewoon nat ja, nou, zo leggen en, en een klein beetje haarlak erop doen. Dan is het Doe gewoon, dan doe ik hem de mama. Ja, yes. Zoals uh, mijn haar. Oké, ik ga nu werken met uh, Colors of Kin. En het is een blue black. 1 slash 1. Start on top. Make this product with step 1 again in it of the glint line. Applying it on my hair. And so do all the hair. So now the, all the colors on her hair. Blue is black. Get rid of my protection. Close this. Gonna give it some warmth for 25 minutes. Then rinse it out. And then back for end style. So don't go away. We'll be back. So more sad of weed. Back from coloring after 25 minutes, rinse it out, uh, put step two in it. Now I'm gonna use with uh, attitude but curls in a bottle. A lot of people ask me what product I use on the silver toners. That's the silver spray, no yellow of attitude. <laughs> Massage it into the hairs. Start blow drying with a medium brush in the neckline. Pin there or up. Brush Olivia Garden. And for those who think I get money for uh, telling you all the products is not true. Just because I like to work with them, I tell you that. So of course to do all I have.
not see because of low effect, that's it, open pressure. So for blow drying, of Lonza, take a playful hairspray. Just to mess it up a bit. The nice thing of a soft hairspray like this is you're gonna work with it and play with hairs like you want to. I will also make photos of her outside so you can see the natural lighting because with lamp lights it's very hard to see but it's a real nice bluish black. I don't know how it's on video but for so far this. I thank you for being my model. I thank you for watching. She will turn around to show you the end result and we see each other next video. Bye bye. Like a rare popje. Thank you. Uh, my name is Kylie and today I want bangs. And uh, Bob. Yes. Not too short, but a playful Bob. Yes. Will you turn around? And on the, and the color will be? Uh, black. Yeah, blue is black, but what was it?